A time to reflect, a tokenistic tradition, or a welcome day off work, young Australians say Anzac Day represents something different for each of them. More than a century on from World War I, the day remains steeped in custom and symbolism. But that doesn't resonate with everyone. Away from the marches and ceremonies, we asked five young people what April 25th meant to them. It erases our history Samantha Martu, 27, is a Kalkadun woman and a law student. She said she had mixed feelings about Anzac Day because indigenous experiences were mostly excluded or forgotten. World War I is considered by a lot of people to be the first war that Australia was involved in, she said. For me, that erases the history of the conflict that my old people had between themselves and the European settlers, the Frontier War. More knowledge needs to be spread, about, Aboriginal people's struggle and the sacrifice that they made fighting just as the Anzacs did, fighting for their families, for their culture, for their mob. Ms. Martu said one of her ancestors hid his aboriginality to fight for Australia in World War I. Those black fellas, they don't get that commemoration as much as the other Anzacs, because often they enlisted under false names, she said. I don't want them to be forgotten. It's a respect thing Alan Fox, 27, said his attitudes toward Anzac Day were shaped during the six years he spent in the Navy as an electronics technician. I pretty much, joined, straight after my 17th birthday, the earliest I could. I was probably the youngest in the Navy for a good six months, he said. Mr. Fox attends his local dawn service and wears his great-grandfather's medals in the Anzac Day March. It's pretty much a respect thing, mainly for people back in World War I, and, also for the people serving now and the sacrifice they make being away from their families, Mr. Fox said. They still do big hours, and a lot of my colleagues that had a newborn baby probably wouldn't see them for a good six months, so they miss out on a lot of birthdays and Christmases. They lose a fair bit of their life out at sea or in the army. A glorification of war and combat photographer Mitchell Manns, 23, said he wouldn't be commemorating Anzac Day. It should be a memorial, a day of remembering people that have passed, but what I view it as these days has turned into more of a glorification of war and combat, he said. It's important to remember the people who were involved but I think it's turned into something a bit more tokenistic. Mr. Mann said Australia's Anzac Day rhetoric was at odds with its treatment of veterans. It gives people an excuse to devote time to it one day a year when the people that need the support don't actually receive it year-round.
He said he wanted to see more support for veterans struggling with homelessness and mental health problems. A chance to look at how the Defense Force has evolved Belinda McKay, 25, struggles to attend traditional Anzac Day commemorations, having moved from Brisbane to London to work as a town planner. But the day is still an important time for her to reflect on her father's 40-year career in the military. My dad's birthday is the day after Anzac Day and dad's birthday came second to his celebrations of Anzac Day, she said. Ms. Mackay said growing up in a military family gave her an appreciation of the Army's role in peacekeeping and disaster relief. If you don't have that family or close connection to what the Defense Force does in modern times, Anzac Day probably seems a little bit foreign or a little bit old school, she said. For me, these kinds of days are a chance to talk about, or look at, the relevance of the Defense Force today and how it's evolved. She said Australian and New Zealand expats in London would often gather together in pubs to observe the day. Know Your History This year will be Anderson Rose's first Anzac Day. The 25-year-old moved to Australia from Brazil eight months ago to study and work I'm actually really excited to see how it goes. I have an Australian flatmate who says to me that this is a really cultural thing and always huge, Mr. Rosa said. He said the concept of a national day honoring the sacrifice of servicemen and women was foreign to him. What I like here is that you are actually thinking about people's lives, not about the military, but about their families, Mr. Rosa said. I think it's important for you to know your history, 